Good day. Today we're going to look at how to export Microsoft Project Data to Excel so that we have a ready to use tabular data in Excel. Currently, when you export your Microsoft Project Data to Excel, um, it doesn't come out in the format that's ready to use for data analysis. And I'll show you. So, assuming we have this dummy pipeline is installation project schedule. Just a simple one, you got your name, column, duration, start, finish date, and cost. To export, you go to file, hit save as, export, and of save as type, we pick Excel workbook, we save. Um, in the export wizard, prompt, you click next, yeah, selected data, we'll go with that. We'll go for a new map. Um, just want the tax and export to include headers. Yep, that's good because we want our table in Excel to have the headers. Now we can either base the fields we want to export on a table or we add them in. Um, for now, we'll just add them. So I'll go for name duration start finish and cost now this preview here shows you what we'll be exporting see it shows the field name duration start finish and cost click next um, for now i don't want to save this map i click finish click finish if I open the spreadsheet, this is our export. Now, a few things wrong with this. Oh, sorry about that. Yep. First of all, you notice that it's taking our summary header. It's pretty. So we've got dummy pipeline, the name of our project, it's copied that across. I don't need that for my data analysis. And also the struct, the summary headers, it's also been exported. I don't need that. Um, our duration column has days and it has the unit of duration. I also don't need this for my analysis. So how do we get this in a better place? I'll show you. So if we go back to our schedule, first thing is to add a new column. To get rid, so I need to if I add that I need to get rid of the days in this column. So I'll go for a new column and I'll pick number one. Empty. So what do I do? Click format. I need to add a formula to get. So format number one field. Until we name this to say duration and then add the units in the title days. Okay, I'll go for formula. I need to be our duration. Yep, but because Microsoft Project stores duration in minutes in the database, so what I'm going to do is I need to convert it back to this. So I need to be I've got my calendar. I'm using an eight hour day calendar, so I've got the eight. There's 60 minutes in an hour, so it's 8 times 60. Click OK. Yeah, this prompts just to say erase existing data. Yep, OK with that. Um, I'm not interested in summary headers, so I'm not going to use formula for any of the summary activities. So I just click OK now. Oh, sorry about that. You notice we now have a new duration column with the same duration as the as this but with no units to the no dates so looks good for export so the next problem is to get rid of the summary headers when we do our export because we only need the the activities and to do that we need a filter so come to view tab on your ribbon under filter, you click on a new filter. Um, 
we'll name this filter export to Excel. Make sure you check the show in the menu so that it's always available for you. And what we want to do is we don't want summary field, so it's said summary equal to no. So we're going to exclude the summary field. Yep. I'll click save. I don't need to apply this filter just now, but I can let's check. It's a filter. Export to filter. Yep. Export to Excel. Yep, it's there. So now we do our export, save as, you pick Microsoft Excel. Um, let me just name this two because we've already, the first one showed um, what's wrong with it. So we go for two, save. Our export wizard comes up. Next, we go for selected data, a new map. We're looking at tasks. Next, and then we add the fields we want. Name. Now remember, I'll go for my new duration field. Yep, Let's start, finish, and cost. If you see in the preview here, the summary activities are still going to be exported. So what we want is we pick an export filter and we look for the filter we created earlier, which is export to Excel. You click on that and you go for next. You can save this map if you want to, to just to save you time the next time you come to export you just pick them up instead of going through this process over and over again i click finish open the excel spreadsheet and this time this is perfect this is what i want just my activities no summary duration it's fine no units dates are fine cost um, and that's it. Do you notice what what uh, the export? What happens during the export is everything is exported as data, as in text. There's no what I want is a number. This as dates and this number. So you can easily do that in Excel. This is just a tidy up. They just clean up. You come on that data. You do text to column. Just click finish. I need to just repeat that for each column and your data will be in the format you want if you don't want the time in your excel and your date columns you just go format custom field i like the day this date format click on that and voila that's you so your data, it's ready for analysis. Thank you.